This is the last hypothalamic pituitary organ axis that we'll talk about. And I'm actually gonna make it pretty brief because this one we're gonna talk about next week with the reproductive system a lot more in detail. So the hypothalamic pituitary gonadal axis, axis is abbreviated HPG and it begins in the hypothalamus, of course. So here's our hypothalamus and the hypothalamus, hypothalamus is going to release along with the other things you've learned about um, it's going to release GnRH, gonadotropin releasing hormone. So releasing hormone, right? This is a releasing hormone for gonadotropins. From the anterior pituitary, there's going to be gonadotropins released. So this one really is a nice naming system gonadotropin releasing hormones triggers the release of gonadotropins. Gonadotropins are tropic hormones for the gonads. They are going to target the gonads. The two gonadotropins are luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormone. We'll get into the functions of each of these more in detail. They're both involved in gamete production and release. So follicle stimulating hormone, for example, is involved in the development of the follicle that surrounds the, the oocyte, which is going to become the egg. Um, and both of them are also involved in sperm development. So we'll get into more of gametogenesis next week. Um, but these are the two hormones are both involved in both sexes, both males and females. However, this picture, they, this is not, this is a combination. <laughs> this would be a female. These are the ovaries. Might as well use that line there. And these, this is a testy. So I'm doing plural here, testes. That's one testis really. And this is the male. So the gonadotropins are involved, are going to target the gonads and cause um, them to do various things like make gametes for reproduction. These gonads are also going to release, of course, their own hormones, right? Because that's what endocrine hormones do. I'm sorry, endocrine glands. Ovaries and testes are also endocrine tissue. Um, and there are three sex steroids that are released from the gonads. And they're released in different proportions in males and females. Um, primarily from the female, there's going to be estrogens, the estrogen and progesterone. From the male, primarily, there's testosterone. Now, it's actually complicated because testosterone can be metabolized into estrogens. Testosterone is also produced in the adrenal gland in females. Males also produce estrogen and progesterone. But we'll get into this more next week. Testosterone, we will talk about a lot more in male, the male body. Estrogen and progesterone, we will talk about a whole lot more in the female body. In reality, it's not that simple, of course. Um, sex steroids, that's what I said these were. Okay, they're steroid hormones, right? These are going to target, target tissues and cause changes in gene expression. So you know that because we said sex steroids. These three along with um, cortisol are the three that I mentioned that are derived from cholesterol. Okay, I think that's all I wanna say about the HPG axis for now. Again, we will do more of it next week.